Hi, this is Deborah from Beacon of Light, and today is Sunday, May 5th. Happy Cinco de Mayo to everyone. <laughs> um, let's see what today's energy is going to be all about. Oh, one card has fallen out. Let's see if we can't get a couple more here. Thanks again for all the comments and the likes and the new subscribers. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Let's see. Some cards here. Or one just flew out over here. So we have one, two, and Thelma. Thelma's making her presence known. Thelma, want to help me pull the last card? Yeah? There it is. Well, there's two here. I'll take both of them. Hi, Thelma. What's going on, baby kitty? You gonna help? Of course you are. Okay. All right, we'll do it on your terms. Good girl. All right, so let's see what we got here. We'll start at the bottom, I guess. We have a Four of Cups, Indifference. We have a Queen of Wands, Creativity. We have an Eight of Cups, in reverse, says Departure. And our mystery card here is, ooh, the Queen of Swords, Independence. Fiercely independent, I feel. So this energy, you get the two queens and that independence, like I said, it's fiercely independence. I, I just feel like it's, I can do this. It's like a, with the wands energy here, with this queen of wands creativity, there's this sense of, I can do this, I feel. And, and it's, I'm empowered with this independence that's been bestowed upon me. And this four of cups i it, it, it's typically in a traditional tarot uh, tarot deck it's um a, a hand from god is offering a fourth cup and um in this particular situation i just feel like this this all four cups are being seen here and it's like we already have the the emotional aspect to be successful we have the ability to decide, you know, to to put our emotions in where they're necessary, not in an overactive or overreactive way. It's kind of interesting. I kind of feel like this Queen of Swords is coming in to allow us to fiercely understand our um, ability to think clearly, to be mindful, to be strong. And it really wants us to let go with this departure of the Eight of Cups, let go. And this fourth cup that has the answer to our emotional our emotional um, well-being is coming in at a creative level. It's, it's kind of saying, take that emotional well-being cup of love that's being offered to you and use it in a creative way instead of a... A destructive way and I, I mean I'm gonna say that so um, a destructive way would be sitting in sorrow because this eight of cups is indicating a departure of the emotional state that does not serve us and so we're getting rid of the fear or the sorrow or the the part that keeps us stuck and it wants us to move forward with this, this confidence of this queen of wands and allowing us to move forward with, as you can see, Thelma's getting a little feisty here and she's biting me. Okay, so we're just going to let her cool off and she she, she must be picking up on this this fiercely independent, oh, she's gonna bite my, my video. Okay, so there's this feeling of coming in and emotionally being mature and emotionally be feeling empowered that's the good word i want to say you feel empowered you you're letting go of the parts of you that are keeping you stuck and the parts of you that are keeping you safe and you're saying screw it or and you just want to go out and feel everything and not put a label on it. That's why I'm, I'm kind of feeling like, it's like, I just want to go out and feel everything and not put a label on it and just say, been there, done that, and move on to the next task. 
because I've got this amazing, beautiful solar plexus energy that's going to keep me alive and keep me going and keep me strong and keep me creative, whatever I do. What do you think, zombie? Like that? Is that fun? Okay. Stop teasing the cat. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I just think today's going to be more of a empowerment day where we're really going to um, find a part of ourself that we've had dormant because it's been dependent upon something else to make us happy or to keep us motivated. And now it's our own self-motivation, our own empowerment, our own inner happiness that's shining through. That's beautiful. I hope everybody has a beautiful day as well, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.